The theme of the latest exhibit in Bronx Art Space is climate activism. Last year, five artistic benches designed by Bronx River artists were installed along the Hunts Point Peninsula. The 600-foot pathway overlooks revitalized wetlands, which are part of the borough's latest efforts to protect flood zones. Artists were offered residencies by the point to create art that engages different sectors of the neighborhood. They want to address the issues in Hunts Point. Carrie Clark says her community badly needs cleaner air. It's because we live in Hunts Point, it's egregiously polluted here. Everybody has asthma. There's like 20,000 trucks that go through the area every day through this small residential community. Hunts Point is home to the Hunts Point Market, the largest food distribution center in the world. But along with fruits and vegetables, its trucks bring polluted air. With our community development end of the work that we do, it's all about environmental justice. Artist Lynn Casabon is an advocate for wild weeds. She photographed beneficial plants that thrive in the urban landscape of Hunts Point. She mounted them at bus shelters. This is an ongoing project that draws attention to plant species that are typically rejected as weeds, but which thrive in the harsh conditions we've created in cities. I also hosted several public workshops. One was a cameraless photography workshop. We gathered and identified plants from the surrounding neighborhood and used them in the process of making cameraless photographs using photogram and chemogram techniques. The other workshop was focused on making monoprints. After learning about aspects of the plants that we gathered, participants were encouraged to use plants that had qualities that they identified with as they made self-portrait monoprints. The neighborhood also inspired artist Isabel Garbani. Her mural of tiles is handmade from plastics collected from the streets in Hunts Point. I picked up trash from the Bronx, uh, right on the sidewalk, right on the, uh, on the side of the road. I ground everything up and mixed it with glue and plaster, and then I made pre-made tiles. Then, she made a mobile art cart and wheeled it around the Bronx. She asked people directly if they wanted to make art for the Bronx. The best thing to do was just to engage people one-on-one uh, -on -one and, and have some, some way to be creative and to express themselves for me. That was like the most important part. Sharing voices in the Bronx is one of the core goals behind all of the Point's artist residencies. The gallery, Bronx Art Space, wants to expand their own residency program from seven artists to 14 this year. 45% of spots are reserved for Bronx-based artists. For Mott Haven Herald, this is Sunny Nagpal in the Bronx.